Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. No particular plan at all, just kind of hang out and have fun. So, let's go do this. Some days you just wake up and you say, hey, I want to go to Epcot. I possibly may be meeting up with some friends later and just kind of hanging out. I know I want to ride Soren and probably Spaceship Earth, get a little food from the festival. There's a lot of things you can do at Epcot. And I believe I will start the day off by taking a trip out on the seas and uh, it's only a five minute wait, maybe less. I think the seas is always a five minute wait, even when there isn't a pandemic actually happening. I mean, sometimes it can get a little bit busy, but not too much. And the queue itself is actually one of the coldest queues you can get in. So if you're actually, you know, feeling a little overheated, step inside here because it really will cool you off. I feel cool already and I just got in the parks. Here. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of just took a tumble almost on the moving platform. Wow. Such a relaxing ride. I mean, I know it's not like, you know, a popular attraction, but this place is massive. I love coming in here and just looking at all the different water life. Especially the gentle sea cows. Ooh. It actually looks like they're gonna be feeding the manatees. And it looks like the manatees are named Lou and Lil Joe. Lou and Lil Joe. Sounds like those manatees mean business. You don't want Lil Joe and Lou coming after you. Oh, and then take a look, see here, we got some divers out there in the shark tank. I don't see any sharks. Oh, the sharks are on that side. But that's a big fish. That right there is a Disney bucket list item for me. I want to take a swim in the seas, inside the tank. You can actually do that. I don't know if you can do it right now, but it's an experience that you can pay to do. And I want to do it. But I like how as we leave to go to exit to Future World, it kind of like has a color scheme here to make it seem like you're still in the big blue world. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that kind of cool? I actually remember the Boy Meets World episode where they came to Epcot and there was a scene where Topanga was like just like up on top petting the dolphins in the seas here and I was thinking because I didn't visit Disney in, in, until way after that and I thought that that's what you can do here you can just like oh, I'm gonna go pet the dolphins in Disney not true not real it's nice to see those fountains actually working last time I was here they were actually turned off I'm actually going to go right up here behind the uh, waterfall and uh, just kind of drink my beer because it's a really cool spot to sit down and relax. Right here is one of my favorite spots. I like to just sit up here and watch the monorail and look at the splash pads and listen to the Epcot music loop. Too bad the monorail is not running though. But like I said, it's just a really relaxing spot. Oh, that's good. Uh, that is good.
one of the things that is open is the chase lounge here but they're not doing character meet and greets they uh, are still doing photos they just digitally add them but I don't care about that I care about the murals inside they're always so beautiful look how cool it is in here I always say that I love being in here just because of these walls themselves this spaceship earth wall right here is always one of my favorites look at how cool it is and it actually has little light up triangles and then take a look at this wall right here isn't that amazing this is some good stuff well hello there forever and then of course this is one of my favorites because you know i love monorails but look at that that's really nifty and then this room right here used to be where the character meet and greet was now they uh, i think digitally uh add the characters still beautiful though and while you're up here you can actually get a good look at all of the intervention buildings actually gutted out including the electric umbrella and mouse gears that's crazy isn't it that right there is the electric umbrella straight ahead. Mouse gears, you can't really see much because that bush is blocking it. But wow, I can't wait to see what they get put in there. I can't wait to see what the final product's gonna be. Now I think I'm gonna head to the land and maybe catch a flight on Soren. If you've noticed, I changed my mask. I always highly recommend bring a couple different masks because it's good to have a fresh mask just to plop on and off throughout the day. Wow, and it does not seem busy in the land at all. Usually it's a little bit like congested down here, but this is really good. This is really good social distancing. I also appreciate how they have a one-way ramp system. So you have to actually go, I think it would be counterclockwise. Yeah, and uh, that's just a one-way route. We're looking at a 15 minute wait maybe here. That's not too shabby because they don't have any fast passes they actually split the queue and it's a good way to control the numbers it's a good sign when you get this far and there's no line usually when i ride soren i always go cb1 but right now i don't think it's uh the cast members i don't think they can accommodate certain requests so we're just gonna go wherever they tell us because i'm happy with that but just maybe we might end up getting b1 and uh getting a straight look at the Eiffel Tower. We are now conducting our final systems check. Looks like we got A2, which uh, isn't the best, but like I said, it's soaring. You would enjoy every flight.
gives me the chills every time. Now I think we'll journey over to World Showcase and see what maybe new festival things they have. I know they opened one new booth, but I just want to get something to drink. And you know what I just realized? Flavors of Fire just opened up one of the newest booths. And I heard they have a pretty good beer there. So I think we're going to make our way over there first and see what they got going on. And here it is, the flavors from Fire. They have a corned beef, a chimichurra, oh, a s'mores whoopie pie, but also Bell's seasonal beer, which I believe is a pumpkin one. So we're going to go with that. Oh, actually, it's not a pumpkin beer. It's a brown ale. Ooh, and that's the whoopie? Very fancy. Ooh, wow. I'm gonna wait for my brown ale. Now we're gonna have to find a table because this is getting hard to carry. Oh boy. Looks like most of the tables are taken, so maybe someone will just let me like sit at their table with them. Oh hey buddy! Oh perfect! <laughs> you oh. Make comfortable. Well thank you. <laughs> and yes, I ran into Jackie, super enthused. Hello. We're gonna share a table. I'm so excited to try this whoopie pie. There is candied bacon on top of it. S'mores oh, with candied bacon. That's crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. Bacon s'mores whoopie pie. Interesting. I don't, know what to tell you. I don't know what to say about this, but this looks amazing. Look at this. I'm gonna try to get a good combination <laughs> of chocolate, graham cracker bacon and marshmallow in one. You know, I really swore off sweets for a while because I'm not even a big sweet eater guy. I gained most of my weight from beer, wings, and pizza, but this looks good. This really looks good. It is seriously so delicious. And like I said, I'm not a big sweet eater, but this is really good. And then when you get a little bit of that bacon in there, kind of catches you like, ooh. <laughs> So the brown ale is actually really delicious, but they did say there was a little like, they said pumpkin-y beer. Well, it's the seasonal beer, but I didn't taste any pumpkin actually. It was just a brown ale, but it's still very delicious. And I would have to say flavors uh, from fire probably is the best stand right now. Jackie agrees. Yeah. I Do you concur? Nice. Yeah, I concur. You concur? It's fire. She concurs. It's fire. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> have a great one. Since we are over here by Test Track, we might as well see what the wait time is. I wouldn't mind going for a little spin. Well, that is a big negative. You can see whenever the ride actually goes down, and during these times, uh, they don't evacuate the queues, so people just stay lined up. So right now, uh, I would bet when it opens back up, easily probably a 50 minute wait. And with only an hour left in the park, I can definitely come up with a better way to spend that hour than wait in line for a ride that we may or may not get on. Since we couldn't do test track, we might as well go on a Grand Fiesta Tour boat cruise. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. well, don't mind if I do. Remember me. Though I have to say goodbye. I feel like if you're claustrophobic, this is like a yeah. nightmare, isn't yeah. it? Like I said, it'd be more like a carnival funhouse. It's so scary. It really is. Oh, oh. My shoulders almost don't fit. I know. Like we only have about 20 minutes. So depending on how long the ride is, we might be able to stop into the tequila cave. Maybe grab a dose of keys when we get off. But I don't know if we're going to have time. We'll see. No matter what though, I'd pick the Grand Fiesta Tour over going into the tequila cave. <laughs> Oh yeah, front row. I love it because then we get to dive into the water. Yeah, I love diving in. Scully, are you ready for your very first ride ever? Yes! Adios! <laughs> yeah. Count of three, everybody fiesta. One, 
Seven minutes left. Let's see if they'll let us get into the tequila cave. Not to get tequila. Maybe to get a beer. Oh yes, and they have a little walkthrough. They actually closed off all the dining. So you actually kind of just walk in. They give you the, the fancy glasses in here. I thought this was like for here, but these are the to-go cups. Very fancy. Wow, guys. What a place to just sit here and enjoy a beer. This is unbelievable. Now that we got ourselves a Dos Aquis, we decided to come over here to the bridge because they're going to be bringing out the barges for the new nighttime show, Harmonious. And we're going to get a first look at them. I'm really excited. Oh, look at these birds, though. This is amazing. Wow. wow. Jackie ran to the bathroom. Oh my God, here come the barges, guys. Yeah, it's happening, man. Look at this. There they are, guys. There's those barges. Oh, they're tucking them back away. Oh no. Well, I'm glad we ran over and got them when they did come out. So I don't know if you could tell, I kind of like panicked because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and I just ran over there and Jackie left her camera here. So I wanted her to have it on her video Thank too. You. So I ran over with it and I don't even know what I said. I probably was just like, ha, ba, 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 ba. Thing, thing happening. But what happened was they came out a little bit and they came out too far. So then they snuck back in. I think that's kind of cool. So we're going to wait out. We're going to wait it out here. Hopefully we get to see them. Something's happening. They're closing the bridge. We're stuck here now. We're stuck here now, you guys. This is amazing. Oh boy, this is it, guys. I hope we get to see it. We've already known that they might be testing the harmonious fireworks tonight, but that wasn't gonna be till later. So now that we might actually get to see the barges come out from backstage, I am so excited. The park is officially closed. Nobody's told us that we had to leave yet. Yeah. So fact, until they tell us we have to leave, to yeah, until they yeah. tell us to leave, we're gonna hang out. Testing harmonious tonight. Well, that's it. Now it looks like the bridge is going back down, but it's cool to see those come out though. Okay guys, I know I say one thing, but this vlog is probably a little bit all over the place at night. Supposedly, like I said before, they are doing some certification testings for Harmonious, which is Epcot's new fireworks show. Everyone's trying to linger around. So we're gonna actually go out and we're gonna kind of like hang out in the Boardwalk Resort area and see if we can see fireworks. I don't know if that'll happen or not, but we're gonna give it a go. So now we are sitting on the boardwalk and uh, you can see we got quite a lot of people waiting to see if we can see some fireworks. Like I said before, this whole night has turned into something completely different, but I love it. I love like everybody getting together and so excited over the littlest thing. Oh, 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 oh. it's oh happening. <laughs> that was it, it's all over. Disney fireworks, guys, are back. <laughs> I can't believe this. Over here. I'm getting blurry. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! That was a selfie. Oh. 
So that's it friends. Crazy how this actually ended. I had no expectation. I came in today and said, you know what? I've got no plans in particular at all. And would you look at that? So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.